Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how I added cruise control to my 2011 uh, Renault Master that I converted into a camper van. Um, I had originally wanted to get a van that had cruise control but it seems that there's so few of them that have, a, uh, have it but I've managed to add it after the fact uh, thanks to the wiring loom having cruise control settings on it or the wires for it. So I'm going to show you here uh, how I did it. Originally, I was looking around in my van doing some, making some nice things. Um, and I found this, well, it was actually this um, little cubby hole that went in there. And when I pulled it out, I found in the back of it, there was these kind of places for some wires. And there was these two wires um, in the back. So there was a gray one and a blue one. And this is... Um, this is the cruise control button from, uh, well, it's a European model. I'm in Ireland, so we drive on the right. Uh, this originally would have gone over here. Um, and I was actually looking under this one as well, and there was some more wires there. So I figured that when they were making these vans, or at least in this case, they just left, they made one wiring loom with all of the wires. Um, and you can see here that it's a blue wire and there's a gray wire and I assume in other vans they would have been in green wire. So it got me thinking that maybe this van uh, had all of the capabilities of cruise control. Uh, the other thing you need to look for or that I needed to look for was down there, there is a clutch, uh, there's a button on the clutch. It's like the thing that whenever you um, put your foot on the clutch or the brake, it disconnects the um, the cruise control so what I did is I went online and I found um, the buttons these are switches for uh, cruise control this is cruise control here um, and then there's two other ones eco mode I think it's just for low lower fuel um, and they all kind of color matched in there um, and then over here I found some more switches for these two uh, these don't actually work because I don't have any parking sensors um, but the only other part of uh, things that I needed were on the steering wheels on Renault Masters. You'll see buttons here and buttons here, and these are for the cruise control. And um, so I, uh, long story short, managed to find these buttons that match. Um, and under here is under the airbag, there is uh, these plug in. So theoretically, once um, I had all these switches in, the car would. Uh, potentially be able to use cruise control. Now, if I look on the dash, there should be down here somewhere uh, lights for cruise control, but my dash doesn't have them. So what I managed to do was get these, uh, I bought these online um, and these plug in under here, under the airbag. Um, and I brought this to my friend who's a mechanic and he has a mechanics computer uh, the diagnostic computer and eventually in one of the settings we were able to turn on the cruise control on this um so some some people online it's kind of you plug it in and it just works others it doesn't uh, others you have to go and get it programmed in this case it worked with the um just the the, the computer or the diagnostic but others you might need to go to the or you might need to go to a Renault dealership where they have the software. Um, so I took off the airbag and there there was, thankfully there was a switch or places for these to plug in. Uh, when you're taking off the airbag, you make sure to disconnect your battery and leave it drained for half an hour or so, just so that this doesn't go off. There is a way under here and um, there's some holes. There's a hole here and a hole on the other side. And what you can do is take um, take a screwdriver and let's get rid of that stick that in there and you can kind of poke around and it'll clip off so yeah it takes some poking around in here but and there's one on the other side but you should be able to just pop it up like this you'd be able to open it up like this and here are the wires for the the airbag and down here there was a little green wire that was tucked up in here um and you just need to plug in these. These are from Renault Megane, but they, they're the same ones, I believe. I'll put the parts numbers in the description. Um, I have seen people, there's some other videos on YouTube where people will replace this entire steering wheel with one from 
um, one, a van that does have cruise control and it should already have the buttons in here. These are kind of solid plastic, so I'm gonna to have to carve out a little bit of space for these here. Um, but you do have to be careful with taking the steering wheel off because I believe if you, you can't just undo it with this uh, nut in here, but you've got to be careful with um, how to, or where, where putting it back on correctly. I was going to change the steering wheel, but I found that um, these were 300 pounds or 400 quid online, 400 euro. And it was just, these were I think 60 maybe and 40. And then that one was another 40. No, I never got that one working, but it was about 140 euro into this. So I'm gonna carve away here for these places now, and then she'll be able to um, have a nice in the buttons so they're not in the way here. Uh, for this, this is from a, a, another um, European van. I had wanted to get a UK or Irish van that would fit in here, but because they don't make very many of them, I just got this and I can pull the switches out and I'll make a nice piece of wood like this for here. Okay, here I have cut out two slots for um, these switches. It's fairly, it's just kind of tight rubber. Uh, just kind of, I had to break the backs of those off, but they just kind of slot in like so. And like so. There are little kind of indents here where they kind of you know the other wheels they would go but i guess you just want to be careful you want a nice and tight um, i should i was going to glue it but it probably doesn't need it just make sure there's enough space for the airbag to go on so i can hopefully clip this back on here now so here i have cut out the two bits it's just kind of rubber, so you kind of cut around it. The buttons have a little lip on them where they kind of can overlap. And I had to break off these things. Uh, it would maybe be easier to get your own steering wheel that had it, but at least this, I can just slot them in and I don't have to worry about taking the wheel off and worrying about anything with that. So yeah, those things just slot in like so. If you take your time and do it properly, you'll get a nice fit. So. Yeah, looking lovely, and then this should just slot back on, so I'll uh, come back to you. Okay, here we go, nice steering wheel, the button's in, nice and tight. Um, you can look, this is how you, you turn it on. Down here I took, they just pop out of the thing, so I don't need this. And I'll make a, um, a nice little piece for here, and they'll just sit like that at the moment, otherwise that, that thing gets in the way with driving. Um, so yes, yeah, so you turn it on here, you can have a look in the ma manual, this is off in the middle. I believe up is speed limiter, I'm not sure if speed limiter works, but I know the cruise control works, so that's that. So yeah, um, and again you need to bring this in, it may or may not work automatically. Mine didn't work, but I brought it in to my friend in the mechanics office, and um, we, uh, we kind of looked through the computer and eventually found something. Um, that would do it, but again, you could probably bring it into Renault and they do it for you But don't know how much they charge really nice um, having it I'm um, not sure I, you can just pop this one out as well And I'm not sure if those ones work, but sure the cruise control is the main one I want so any questions leave them down and uh, Yeah, take care